We have an update this morning on the shocking death of Anton Yelchin. It's now been confirmed the Jeep that rolled down a driveway and killed the actor was under recall for gear shift problems. The 27-year-old Star Trek actor was killed early Sunday morning when his Jeep Grand Cherokee pinned him against a brick mailbox pillar and a security fence at his L.A. home. We now know Yelton's Jeep was a 2015 model year, which was part of Fiat Chrysler's global recall two months ago due to a gear selector problem that caused confusion about whether the vehicle was in park, increasing the risk of it rolling away unexpectedly. It's not known whether Yelchin received or saw a recall letter from Fiat Chrysler. The company says it will conduct an investigation of the accident, but that it's too soon to say if the gear problem was the cause. It's not known why Yelchin was behind his vehicle when it started rolling. Corners ruled his death an accident, Results for any toxicology tests will take months to come in. Not a smooth flight for Selma Blair. The actress was removed from a plane on a stretcher and rushed to hospital, reportedly following a bizarre outburst mid-flight. Here's what we know. Blair was on a return flight to L.A. from Cancun, Mexico, where she'd spent Father's Day weekend with her ex-boyfriend and their four-year-old son. Blair was reportedly met by paramedics at LAX. It appears she mixed prescription meds with alcohol. TMZ reports witnesses saying the 43-year-old was sitting in first class drinking a glass of wine when she started to cry and talk about fears regarding an unnamed male who she claims, quote, burns her, quote, private parts, beats her, and was going to kill her. A rep for Blair has not yet responded to requests for comment. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. What the world needs now is love. That's the message and the song the Broadway community is sending out into the world after the mass shooting at a gay nightclub in Orlando that left 49 dead. The moving music video for the benefit single has now been released with all proceeds going to the LGBT Center of Central Florida. An A-list chorus joined forces for the project including Whoopi Goldberg, Sarah Jessica Parker, Lin-Manuel Miranda, Kristen Bell, and Adina Menzel. Their cover of the 60s hit What the World Needs Now is Love can now be downloaded for $1.99 on Broadway Records records.com or on iTunes. Uh, uh, action. The first one was a roller coaster ride, but this one has more twist and turn. Lights, camera, action. Filming is underway for the sequel to the most successful Canadian film in national box office history, Bon Cop, Bad Cop. BT Montreal's Derek Fage joined the cast on set as they filmed a scene at an embassy and got the inside scoop on round two from the film stars, Home Fior and Patrick Huard. Now, Patrick, be honest. You wrote this latest Bone Cop, Bad Cop 2 just so you guys could hang out. Uh, that's that, that was the whole purpose of the thing. I was a little nervous because when you have to, to go back into the uh, character's skin after so many years, you don't know how it's going to go. And uh, not just my character, but that duo. It was like we finished the, the previous one three days ago. It was like right away. We knew how much fun we had the first time. And we had to up the game for the second one. Five times more fun, five times more action. Five times more French swearing. I, I think I've got a recipe yeah. for success here. Let's see how it goes. FBI, everybody put their guns down. Patrick is really a genius at making things serious, sad, painful, and funny. You'll be able to see those elements play out in Bon Cop, Bad Cop 2 when it hits theaters next summer. And as always, get your entertainment news here first in the morning and anytime on Twitter at InCity.